wildfire is inching closer and closer to the northern community of Fort Chippewa. Residents like Beverly Taranjo told to get out. Well, it's kind of emotional because uh, that's our home, you know, so um, didn't want to leave. There are only two ways out of Fort Chippewan. The first, by plane. The Canadian Armed Forces provided a Hercules aircraft and a convoy of flights took more than 500 people to nearby Fort McMurray, where they were welcomed with information and for some, their pets. The second way out, by boat. Volunteers shuttled residents late into the night to hotel rooms once they got to safety. They were tired, they were exhausted, it was a long trip. We wanted to get them uh, to safety and warm. The fire risk in Alberta remains extreme in the north, but it's better in the central part of the province, where cooler weather has lessened the risk. Firefighters are making use of the cooler and wetter conditions to reinforce fire guards around communities and to extend containment lines. Back in the north, this fire is too close for comfort. Like you see from behind us here how big the fire is, and it's raging out of control and it's getting closer to the airport and once the airport staff, once they sound the alarm, they'll close down the airport and then, we'll, then we're at the mercy of the fire. Make sure that oven's open. Calvin Walkwin is staying behind to run his gas station and convenience store for fire crews. We're just trying to assist and, and put people at ease and keep them calm. A call for calm as fire threatens yet another Alberta community. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.